this is Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck with yet another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that you're able to create your own preset to use when slicing audio to MIDI? Well, you can, and in this video we're going to explain how. First things first though, I want you to concentrate on these three shortcut folders here. Uh, I have selected my first one here, and as we can see this has taken me to Live's library. All right. If you don't have one of these folders set to Live's library, I'd like you to do so now, which you can easily do by just selecting one of the folders, clicking this gray bar up here, and then library should be one of the big options for you to select, and that'll take you to Live's library. The reason why this is important is because when we create our preset, it's going to be saved in the following location. Live's library, defaults, slicing, all right? unfold the slicing folder. This is where all our slicing presets are. When you slice something to a new MIDI track, you're choosing one of these options. And we can create our own slicing preset pretty easily, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Now let's go to Live's devices. And what I wanna do is, yeah, I wanna use a drum rack and I'm gonna bring a blank drum rack into a MIDI track here, okay? Now, very important, in order to create a slicing preset using a drum rack, when you slice a piece of audio to a new MIDI track and you use the drum rack or any one of the presets that use the drum rack, your audio is sliced and each slice is placed in a simpler instrument which is placed inside each cell of the drum rack, okay? This is very important because in order for our preset to work, we have to first put a blank simpler inside one of the blank cells in our drum rack. All right, cool. So now let's look at the simpler. Uh, so what I wanna do now is maybe place uh, a couple effects here. Um, let me see. So how about, let me see. I like the redux effect. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna place this at the end of the simpler. And uh, let me see, what else might be cool? I'm gonna also grab, how about a filter delay, which is right here. We'll put that there. And let's also put an EQ3. There we go. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna double click on the simpler just so that it's not in the way because I don't need to look at this right now. All right, let's go here. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna assign some of these to my macro knobs. So let me hit this button so I can see my macro knobs. I'm gonna enter my map mode here and now I can start assigning some of these parameters to my macro knobs, all right? And what this is gonna do is make sure that every time uh, I slice something and I use this preset, that I can change the parameters for these different effects and it will affect all my slices, all right? So let me see, first thing I wanna do is let's assign the down sample in my Redux to this knob here. Uh, let me see, and let me see, how about the bit reduction as well? We'll assign here. Uh, let me see, the dry volume, I'm gonna assign that to this. And the volume of all of these, I'm going to assign to this. All right, so I can control the dry volume here and the wet volume here, basically. And then the EQ3, what I want to do is be able to control the bass volume and then also be able to get rid of the mids and highs as well. All right, so now we have all this assigned, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to save this, all right? So we're going to go and click this disk icon here on our drum rack. Once we do that, if we look in our live devices, we can see this is where our preset is gonna be saved. So we're gonna call this Redux Delay Slice Fave. There we go, and we'll save it. So now what we have to do is we have to move this preset into the proper location, which is here in the slicing folder. So how do we do that? Well, we can just go back to our live devices, click on this, click and hold, Hover over that folder, the number one, and just drop it in here into the slicing folder. And there we go. So how do we know if this actually worked? Well, let's grab a piece of audio and slice it now, okay? I'm gonna go to my trusty Gorilla Funk Breaks folder here.
yeah, why not? We'll grab this. Okay. I'm going to double click on this so I can see my giant waveform. Hit warp. Select a small portion of this. I'm going to command L to loop it. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to slice the new MIDI track. So let's see if our preset is there. I'm going to create one slice per transient. Yes. Slice preset. And look at that. Redux delay slice thave. All right. Let's click it. Hit OK. OK. There's all the effects that we put on there. All right. So let's just verify that this is actually properly working. We got to turn this stuff up. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so I could take some time to actually make a good drum beat out of that, but the point is that we've made our own slicing preset. And now anytime we want to slice some audio, we can always bring up this preset. So very convenient, extremely helpful, and gives you a whole new realm to explore in terms of sound manipulation. So now you know. This has been Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck, signing off. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.